what's going on youtube welcome to the channel thanks for checking out the channel and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button and hit the notify button where we're always dropping new toyota tacoma content or land cruiser content and yeah these toyota dealerships you guys have been getting hit up with so many of these land cruisers i really wondered how this was going to play out once these things started showing up but uh dealerships have been getting swamped with them so let's look at this one what they did with this one so the msrp this is a 1958 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser. So they got 11 link kit on this one. They got 33 inch Mickey Thompson, 17 inch black Rhino wheels, and they got roof racks and they got the rock rails and they got tinted windows, all for a price of $66,000, guys, almost $67,000. So they almost did $10,000 worth of dealer installed options. And let's look at these black Rhino wheels that they got on this thing. And these are gonna be on 285s, right? Yeah, 285, 70, 17. I do like the rock rails that they have on the 1958 edition and also they have these on the special first edition. And I'll let you guys see that MSRP was 57, almost 58. So basically the same price as a TRD Pro 4Runner. And we'll just kind of go around really quick for you guys. This is a good looking truck. This is one of the first colors that I've seen on the Land Cruiser was the Meteor Shower, AKA Brown Sugar. And we'll just kind of take you guys inside real quick because it is open. It's going to be cloth. That's the only downside of this truck. It's going to be cloth, everything, no sunroof. Um, and then here's your infotainment center. You're going to get a rear locker and a middle locker. You're not going to get a, and it's got 16 miles. You're not going to get a stabilizing bar disconnect. But uh, open this back up for you guys and let you guys see the back. They got the seats lean back and you see you still got decent amount of room but everything is cloth here you get heated seats but no ventilated obviously so that's how that looks and what we'll do is i'll just take you guys out no camera on this one and no led uh rigid industry fog lights but uh yeah they got a ton of these trucks on the lot guys and uh yeah it's gonna be interesting so you definitely do not want to pay msrp for one of these land cruisers because if you reach out to you know, a dealership or two, like every single dealership that I've gone to pretty much has had at least two of these trucks on the ground, you know? So like that's one right there that we've seen. We'll see how many trucks they actually have over here. Yeah, that's it's gonna be a ton of them. So, but it has been one of Toyota's most popular and internet loves it. So let's see, so we got one, and that was a 1958 edition, and we'll kind of see. So this one is gonna be not Calvary blue, but this is gonna be, uh, whatchamacallit blue. This is gonna be, uh, forgot the name of this guy. What was it? Blue, blue, what was it? Smoky blue, that's right. So yeah, he started this bad boy up. Let's get a price on it real quick before he takes off. How you doing, Mr. Styles? Doing good, my brother. Taking this over to the delivery bay. Okay, so so somebody's taking delivery of this one, huh? Yes, sir. See, they're selling them, guys. They're selling them. So yeah, this is a nice one. That's smoky blue. Somebody's coming to pick her up. So there's one. So there's two, I mean. So that's two right there. Then they got this one. So this one, I'm wondering if this is first edition. I don't think this is first edition. It's just not going to be a 1958. So it's just going to be a regular Land Cruiser. Now let's go back up here to the front because, yeah, it had to have the square lights. Because only the first edition gets the round lights. But when I see this color, I automatically think first edition. So, yeah, guys, what do you think? So 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque out of a turbocharged four-cylinder. So this one is going to have those rigid industry fog lights there and you get that 360 camera and you're going to get a sunroof as well this one's locked but yeah a ton of these on the dealerships and people are buying them because it's just the name alone the land cruiser you got a forerunner here and you even got a big old sequoia trd pro and let's look at a price of this one 63 and i think that other one might have been 70 so you're really not going to get much with this door edge guards and carpet uh cargo mat that's pretty much it so this one might not even be it doesn't have the premium land cruiser setup so you probably don't even have a power passenger seat on this one 
but I'll let you see how some of the lights are different. Toyota Heritage. And we'll just compare a price. So 63, we're just gonna say this one's almost 64. So a 63, six. Yeah, 63, six. So we're just gonna run it to 60, 64. So 64, or you can get a V6 SR5 for 50. So yeah, that's like, what? 64, 14 more thousand dollars. And then this is gonna be ridiculous. I'll just show you guys this one. For the 83,000 Kobe. Yeah, so this is the 2024 TRD Pro Sequoia. And I'll just let you guys know the horsepower and torque numbers on this one because that's the biggest thing is 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet of torque. Where this little guy over here, not too bad, 326 horsepower and 465 pound feet of torque. But yeah, back to what I was saying. So yeah, we've been seeing a lot of these things show up. Forerunners are really starting to kick back up again. So we'll probably be see a good push the next couple of months with these forerunners. I'm expecting to see off roads and pros like we've been seeing. So I'll show you guys one. Here's a pro over here. They just had they just had another pro that was Terra, not to be mistaken for Solar Octane, which is this truck right here, my truck. But so yeah, this, this one's 57.6, right? So I think that around the same price as that other Land Cruiser, 57, if my memory serves me well. So here's another one. Again, it's gonna be just a regular Land Cruiser. So when I say regular Land Cruiser, that means it's not the 1958 edition, which is the entry level Land Cruiser. And then it's not the first edition because the first edition will have circle headlights and it'll have a camera. And the first edition is gonna be fully loaded. So it'll have every single option you can get on the Land Cruiser. But other than that, these Land Cruisers, for it to be like fully loaded, it'll be like $77,000. And this one's $69,000. But it is gonna have the Land Cruiser um, premium package, which runs you 4,600. And I'll let you guys see all that stuff there. All your options, cause I don't really feel like reading them to you right now. And this thing is still made in Japan. And this is the first time that they put the hybrid and the turbocharged engine together. So it's gonna basically be the same as the new Tacoma when it has the when the hybrids come out so 200 and or excuse me 326 horsepower and 465 pound feet of torque in this one and let's get you guys a price again so almost $70,000 so 69875 for this Land Cruiser and then we'll go over to this last one this sand one and some of you guys like this one and some of you guys don't this is the second time I've seen this color and it looks different every single time you see it because of how the sun hits it. But it's actually a pretty good looking color. And I do like how they break it up with the top color up here. But it's probably not one of my favorite. And this one's going to be $69.6, so almost $70,000. And it looks like it's going to have a similar package. And you get the two-tone roof that hits you for $350. And then you got a carpet cargo mat. So almost $70,000 for this Land Cruiser. But... Yeah, I think that we will be getting some type of discounts on these people will be, you know, paying under MSRP if Toyota keeps on pushing them out like they're pushing them out because the dealerships are starting to sit on these things because of the price point. I mean, when you got some of these things that are $77,000, that's like an $80,000 vehicle. And it's just like, it would be like us seeing a ton of Sequoias on the lot because that's like $81,000 to $83,000 and you're just not going to see it. Dealerships don't want to have those vehicles sitting on the lot not being sold. So, um, yeah, people are buying them though. So that's one thing about it. We've seen the guy, somebody's getting ready to take delivery and people are basically looking at these trucks every single day. This is, like I said, this is kind of like the biggest news in toyota right now this is like the the coolest thing going on other than if you maybe you have a trd pro tacoma which would be really really cool and really really expensive all at the same time so with these with a nice set of tires and uh, a new set of uh, wheels and maybe even a lift these things look really really good and it completely changes how these things look so with the lift not even so much probably a lift if you just got new wheels and tires you know go with the biggest size you can get on your stock suspension it would definitely transform this vehicle so yeah i think they'll keep on showing up it'll be it'll be nice when we get the forerunner too because then we'll have the forerunner and these on the lot so things will be 
very interesting at these Toyota dealerships, but that's why I always like to come up here and see and see what they really have. And again, I'll kind of go up on top here and show you guys. None of these ones are open, but I'll show you that roof, the sunroof you get there. And you're gonna get a power lifting tailgate on this one here. And just show you guys kind of the back, what you get on these ones. I definitely like the truck. It's, it's a good looking truck. And like I said, a lot of people are really psyched about them and people are taking delivery every day. So yeah, Toyota is, I think they're really enjoying the success of this truck because we haven't really heard any problems yet out of this engine, you know, with the turbocharged four cylinder hooked with the hybrid because all of these Land Cruisers are paired with the hybrid, just like the new 2025 toyota camry is so if you get a new 2024 land cruiser it's going to be a hybrid no matter if you get the 1958 edition the regular land cruiser or the first edition land cruiser so you can always get you one of these good old v6s if you're not into the turbocharged this is going to be the last the 2024 forerunner will be the last v6 naturally aspirated engine that you can probably get in the united states made by toyota so that's going to do it guys We'll finish up over here with this other Land Cruiser. I really wanted to take a look at that blue one a little bit more, but he pulled off in it. But we'll look at this one. See, they just took it in. They don't even have the center caps. And we'll get you guys a little tire size here. And we'll finish up here. You're on the Michelin tires, which are really nice. 265, 70, 18. 265, 70, 18. And uh, that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for checking out the channel. Have a good day and God bless. I hope this Land Cruiser video works out for you. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. Have a good day and God bless. Peace.